to wrap up with Mr. John Quarterman of, of the Swanee River Keeper Organization and the WWALS organization, which I'll let him say what that is. And he's going to talk to us about sewers. Yeah, you thought it was exciting trust us? Now we're going to talk about sewers. And we pronounce the balls that way. Uh, in June 2012, partly because of sewers, a little organization started with people on the board from Belt Austin, Tipton, Georgia, called Walls Watershed Coalition. And it's an acronym for With Gucci, With Gucci, Alive, Wild Little, and Swanee River System. Say that. Say one breath, please. It's <coughs> took me practice. But it's called Walls Watershed Coalition. And in 2016, December 2016, we got the uh, license to be Swanee Riverkeeper. We're doing the same stuff. It's just easier to explain, for example, in Florida, if you say Swanee Riverkeeper. So, um, what I'm talking about is uh, Georgia Environmental Protection Division now publishes sewer spill reports daily. How did that happen? It's very recent. What's in them and what can we do about them? Okay, so uh, why do we care first? Uh, you all do, do fishing, so I guess you know this. It's, it's bad for fishing and pretty much everything else. And in our case, um, does that got a corner? Is that what a star here? Oh, yeah. See that little line there? That's the state line. As I say in Florida, rivers can't read. They don't know somebody drew that line on a map. <laughs> so sewage from Valdosta goes into Florida, and they get mad, and they also post health advisories, which causes everybody to get off the rivers, not just where the sewage might conceivably good, but all the way down to the Gulf, it's a stigma. It damages the economy. So all 12 counties in Florida downstream have banded together to try to do something about this. Okay, but let's not get ahead of the story. This is some data that I pried out of Georgia EPD. It took me several months of, how about this person? No, talk to this person, no, talk to this person, until I finally found somebody when I asked her, she'd send me the spreadsheet of all the spills reports that they had in the state. And in here we find out some interesting things. This one here, 41 block of Bemis Road in Valdosta. Valdosta announced that one, that was only 900 gallons. But months later, this other one in the same location, almost twice as much, they didn't tell anybody. The only reason we know is we got this data from EPD. So right there, it's the biggest reason to do this. Also, here, this is the Lowndes County sewer system on Valtech Road, uh, 25,000 gallons, and then another one, 9,300 gallons, months later. Okay, it's less, but it's been recurring. Now, interestingly, after that second one, a couple of months later, Lowndes County, the commission decided to spend about $90,000 to replace that section of sewer they haven't had any since. Now, I can't say that Telling everybody what they didn't about that last July spill made that happen. I can hope that it contributed. If you don't know, you can't do much about it. I'm mostly talking about stuff in the Swanee River system because that's what I deal with. But here's an example. Uh, this is statewide data. We've got Augusta, Rome, Atlanta, 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 uh, <clears throat> and uh, international paper company spill. 750,000 gallons of clarifier in the Flint River system. Gord, did you know about that before I showed you this? Exactly. Um, so we put together a resolution to ask EPD, like, why should I have to publish this? Why don't you just put it online? And um, thanks also to Gordon to that, for that first clause, whereas clean water is a basic right of all Georgia citizens. Anybody disagree with that? So. Okay, so we can find all sorts of stuff. Like it turns out that in December uh, 2018, Valdosta didn't tell us about dozens of spills, literally dozens. And worse than that, they didn't tell their own city council. We only knew it because we found it in here. Um, also, a tip from Georgia spill, and speaking of Atlanta, uh, and also many of the Valdosta spills still weren't terminated weeks later. They hadn't said how much spilled. 
The two lines that are highlighted, there are a couple of Atlantis bills, which also are listed as zero gallons, which means we don't know yet. Which is why you really need to look at this stuff daily, because the old stuff can change. In December, Valdosta City Council added another half million dollars to the upwards of $60 million that artists spent on sewer system fixes, but this still spills, and they still aren't telling us. Now, um, part of the leverage here was Florida uh, last year started publishing all their spill reports online the same day. This is largely because they're embarrassed into it after the infamous mosaic sinkhole, if you have been following that in Florida, you probably haven't. Too big a digression, I won't go into it. And they also report things like the Save the Trail Pipeline leaked. We don't know if that might have happened in Georgia because EPD wasn't reporting. Okay, so we had 20 groups signed up by Halloween, which was just a totally arbitrary deadline before which you know, sign on and we'll send it to EPD. Thanks to all of you who are listed, groups in Florida and many in Georgia. So we sent it to EPD and, and uh, a day later, uh, the director, Rick Dunn, did respond. You can see he said, we'll, we'll work on that. All right, but we kept collecting signatures. We got up to 30, I think actually 31. And uh, too many thanks to uh, read them all. I do want to mention Mike Worley of Georgia Wildlife Federation, who mentioned the idea to Rick Dunn before we even sent him this petition resolution. And to everyone's surprise, we got an early Christmas present. On December 20th, they started doing it. I was shocked. I thought maybe they'd get around to it like March or something. Okay, and so now we can find out things like this. You, the, uh, the color bands are years. The bottom is 2015, the big broad band is 2016, pretty bad year. Then 2017 and 2018. So when I made this particular graph, I was able to brag, well, I lost the, okay, it's still spilling, but at least it's got better. Okay, little did I know. In December of 2018, they spilled well more than all of 2017, more than 6 million gallons from dozens of locations. And now we can know that. Um, I put together a little automated thing every day, and there's a difference between the most recent report and the previous day's report, and it automatically highlights anything in the Somali River Basin. I never really think of Rochelle, it's way up at the top end of the basin. And to you know, many of you, 1,500 gallons may not sound like much. It does, it comes up in your yard. Okay, um, not highlighted, but this number kind of sticks out. Thank you, South Fulton, for spilling 14 million gallons, making Valdosta look like nothing. And anybody here from South Fulton that's in the Chattahoochee watershed? Anybody from Chattahoochee Riverkeeper even know that happened? Well, now you can. Okay, then what we what we do with it? Uh, that also is under consent order from the Georgia EPD because of huge spills in 2009 and 2013. But EPD has never actually done any enforcement actions. I hear they're thinking about it this time. It'd be nice if they actually did. Okay. Um, all right, so maybe there's a fine or something. What we really want is from the finished fixing it so it doesn't happen anymore. Now they said, well, you remember how zero spills. Well, I think we get a lot closer to what this guy. We'd also like to know how far does this stuff go downstream and how far does it go underground into wells, as Gordon was pointing out. We have uh, uh, porous limestone underground that contains all our drinking water in the coastal plain and the Florida aquifer. So if it's in the above ground water, it's in the underground water, and Hamilton County, Florida has done tests which has convinced them that also sewage comes up in people's wells. That also says, oh no it wasn't. We need more testing by independent third parties to find out. It'd be really nice if we got the people doing the spilling to do more testing or at least pay for it, which I suggested to EPD. How about put that in enforcement order? That's an interesting slide. I don't remember that one. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I was talking about this one. This is fascinating. Oh, right, I know. This is how many spills we want. Okay, uh, this is a map. Those little uh, oblongs are where Valdosta has been doing testing. They have been doing a surprising amount weekly. And what they show is very interesting. Uh, unfortunately, they're dropping back from weekly to monthly. So I'd also suggest to the EPD, what if you require people to do it weekly? Um, yeah, we have started a water quality testing program. Everybody else is doing it, so you know we might as well. But you know, should a tiny little nonprofit be trying to do uh, a 10,000 square mile watershed as a volunteer effort? I'm not so sure. And it's not even just that. I really wish I'd never had to hear about this. Any of you have ever used Teflon frying pans or cookware? These chemicals are in there. Uh, Gore-Tex, waterproof fabrics, they're in there. They're everywhere. But in particular, there were big spills from Air Force bases in Georgia, which even the Air Force bases say have been fishing. So some testing for this stuff would be good because in other states, private wells have been closed. Michigan and North Carolina have actually already set strict limits and allocated funds to do something about it, maybe Georgia should. So we all do what we can, but you know it would be nice if the states did a little more, so maybe we should ask Georgia to do a few more things. That's my contact information. Thank you. Thank you, John. And, uh, Jen and Tanya, if y'all grab some chairs and come up here with us. Um, I'm going to moderate a QA and a now, and while they're getting situated, um, I want to um, express gratitude not only to y'all, to the organizers of the event, but to these river keepers, because I think y'all can tell that they're pretty busy people and have a lot to do, very small staffs, 